one is actually bothering me. This one is bothering me. It has to do with Africa generally. Hear this. Hear this. Africa claims to be in world, third world country. Is that correct? And still we do not want to support ourselves to come out from the stage where we are. I got some messages from the country of Malawi. You know, you remember we prophesied some months ago who we saw that would be the next president that went viral and on the month of May, he, the person equally emerged as the next president. Now, I was watching a video where some people claimed, I don't know if it is the opposition or not, but they claimed that the opposition party of that country is destroying government properties and some people's properties only to protest that the man that won the election rigged the election. I'm not against you trying to bring democracy, but I'm against you trying to bring democracy in the way of blindness and violence. America is a first world country. I was in the US when the election of America was conducted. I was the election finished. And I can give you that by what was on ground at that time, everybody thought that Hillary Clinton won the election. But when the election was announced, Trump won the election. Now, people that were not happy protested. After they protested, they now decided to go to what? Court. In every country, even in our country here in Nigeria, I can tell you truly that even when the election, even when I gave a prophecy that Bugari was the next president, even in our church, a lot of people didn't believe. Is that correct? They only said to me, we know this man's prophecy doesn't fail when the Lord speaks to him. But some people were like, but what is on ground? I go win. Now, when Bugari was equally declared as president, the opposition was not happy. But they ended up going to what? Court. Court is the hope of a common man. Let me give this message to Malawi people, the Malawians. Hear this. If election is over in your country, and those who do not believe it was free and fair has gone to court, which is the hope of a common man, yeah? the best thing you need to do is to bring peace in your country, not to raise an atom of violence everywhere. Let me tell you, even the international community, you think they will support you, we will not support them. I'm telling you that they will not support them. And some of our youth in Africa are being used by these selfish politicians. Election is not a do or die affair. I'm telling you the gospel truth. It's not a do or die what? Affair. And some people, if you believe that it, it is not fair or free and fair in your country, let me tell you, if it is the will of God that a particular person will not win an election, let me tell you, nobody can fight for God, brother. Let me say it how it is. God has one million and one ways to remove anybody he wants to remove. God can decide to strike that person with a sickness that he cannot recover from. God can decide to kill the person. God can Are you now telling us that man is bigger than God? Go to God in prayer. If you have done your protest quietly, then go to court and keep praying. Let me tell you, no matter what you do, if God is not by your side, there is no victory. And you cannot fight for God in any level. So I want to call Malawians and those who are lovers of good things. Don't cause war in your country. You are the one your parents, everybody will die. You are even lucky you have a president that is not uh, this uh, fighting type. You have gone to court. Then if it is the will of God that that man is not a president, my brother, God will remove him and it doesn't take God a minute to remove him. So please, all Malawians, listening to the voice of the servant. And let me tell all the servants of God there, you have to rise up and pray for peace for your country. Make a pronouncement. And if you need a prophetic advice, I can equally advise you what you need to do. Elisha did something. And the Bible said, barrenness, we are broken, death, we are broken, peace came to the land. You need to do something in that land. 
let there be peace. Then anybody that will move against it will now have himself to be blamed. May God bless all Africans, bless our leaders, and give us good leaders. By the grace of God, may God give us good leaders and protect all those who has no voice. And I pray that God shall be our voice at the end of this age. In Jesus' name.